We now know that recent rounds of reshoots for Captain America Brave New World have in fact removed one of the controversial characters that was set to appear in the film, and the character still remains, but they will no longer resemble their comic book counterpart. So ever since the announcement of Captain America 4 and them starting to announce castings, the one that took a lot of people uh, by surprise was the addition of the character Sabra. Now, at the time, there was still some question and people were questioning why this character is in there, as the character is an Israeli agent, and the name Sabra, a couple years after the character appears in comics, is associated with a pretty horrific massacre. So, there was a lot of people wondering whether they were going to keep this character in the film. When the industry shut down and they decided to go in for the actors and writers strike, we know that things happened behind the scenes, the film was changed, and then rounds of reshoots were done. And we started to hear that the Sabra character would be put to the uh, back of the film or possibly eliminated completely due to what happened in October with Palestine, thus giving us this real-world effect that Marvel did not want in their film, and there's a lot of people saying they don't want the character in the film and that they're not going to see it. If you've been, you know, on social media, especially on platforms like TikTok, there's been a lot of chatter. So we were wondering what was going to happen with this character. Did they keep her in the film? Do they remove her? And now we got the confirmation originally coming at us from Variety that Sabra has not been eliminated from the film, she is still in the film, but any traces of her being Sabra, the way she's presented in the comics, and that name specifically, you know, evoking a horrific incident from decades ago, uh, that's not in the film. And instead, they've changed her character around to reportedly be somehow connected to the Black Widows or a Black Widow or something along those lines. Again, we don't know until we see the film. Now, this has caused outrage because people are very upset and they're now starting to boycott the movie for the other reason. Before, it was, hey, we're not going to see this film, or some people were saying we're not seeing this film if she stays because of the connection to these horrific events. And other people are saying, well, now that you've removed the character... I'm no longer seeing the film because uh, it's the typical old you're ruining one of my favorite characters of all time, which comes around every time Marvel Studios makes changes to characters. Look at um, Abomination. Look at She-Hulk. Apparently She-Hulk had a ton of fans and so forth. And then there's people just saying, well, I like what the character stands for, so keep her in there. So it kind of makes sense that Marvel doesn't want that political angle to be prominent especially with the world events but also i get people are gonna fight back against it regardless no matter what decision they make so they're kind of like stuck in a bad place with this one and it's going to be really interesting to see just uh what happens with this film because again it's a touchy subject and having a character connected to real world events that are very much in social media and the media today are um not exactly good ways to sort of, you know, push your film out there and alienate a fan base. And we know Disney very much wants to play a safe and have as many people see the film as possible. Hence why they make like international cuts of films and cut out specific moments. So it'll be really interesting to see just what elements of the characters remain, if any. But we do know that she at least is now somehow connected to the Black Widows. Thank you.